somewhere in the line we got a little uh a little ice so we're just sitting around waiting got this in the sun we're out here pretty early it's 7 30 in the morning we're up in screen lake and it uh it has just come over 34 degrees so uh we'll let this thaw out a little bit and we should be good to go i tested the other side the other side's fine the blue line is fine uh that opened up but uh i'm just trying to use the red line today and should be should be good to go here shortly all right we're just going to crack this a little bit and let it run we are using a metering system this is the first time the chlorine is being mixed with the water for the season so when you touch the water you can feel it on your hands it, it just feels like water right we all know what wet hands feel like what i like to do is just occasionally touch this just run it slow and eventually it's going to get very very slippery and your, your fingertips are going to be very slippery you're going to smell the chlorine and that's how you know that your your mix has made it to the end of your nozzle and that's when we're going to start washing you can run a little faster here there you go hear that bubbling right there and there you go there's your chlorine there's your bleach okay we're going to start here with this shed looking to take off all this right here some mold and run along the trim here some is black that's basically what we see all over the house the washing is basically going to be just this black moldiness so let me put my mask on set this camera up we'll watch the back side here first As you can see, that's kind of all it takes, right? This is all starting to run here. All this black, I'm gonna start wiping off. We're just gonna let that dwell a little bit longer. Let's come over here to this side. Up in here, some of that trim. It's all starting to come loose. So we're going to let that dwell for uh, a few minutes. We're going to rinse it off and repeat the other side.
one thing to keep in mind is when you're doing your pre-walk this was uncapped and it was sitting right under this gutter and i knew that we were going to have to uh get up there when i was setting up my ladder so you want to take a look and make sure you're not uh you know running gutters into someone's catch water they obviously use it to irrigate on their property so i want to keep an eye out for that stuff okay first job of the season has been completed we're gonna head on to the next one took about two hours uh, i had a little bit of a slow start there with the uh i think the i don't know if the pump wasn't frozen the pump was kicking on i think there was a little bit of ice somewhere in the line just from last night uh we are into some nice weather during the days but it's not really reaching the 50s until uh mid-afternoon into late afternoon so the mornings are still cold so i might have to adjust to maybe start a little bit later um and give the the lines a little bit of time to um to thaw out but i our freezing nights are are few and far between and uh there should be none pretty soon so let's move on to the next one and uh, continue our day here All right, we got our tanks all topped off here. So there's still, I'm gonna use uh, the homeowner's line instead of my own to do the wash, but since this is a, uh, a stretch hose, there's a stretch hose, there's still water in there until it empties out so I just gotta get this on here quick
shuffling back and forth today, but it's all right. That second wash uh, was about two hours as well. Uh, little shuffling I had to do, only one spigot was working and I didn't want to be stretching the holes all over. So you saw me kind of shuffle a little bit. That honestly was easier uh, than any other option, I think. So we got a text from, uh, well, first off, look at this. Woo wee! Screw Lake, New York. Um, just got a text as I was leaving the first job. I got a, uh, a uh, the homeowner came out, was uh, paying me for the job, and I tried to upsell the roof. Um, she said she wanted to talk to her husband, and by the time I finished this other job, she had sent me a message saying that they accepted the quote and would like me to come back um, whenever I can fit it into my schedule. Uh, Scroon Lake is about a half hour, 40 minutes from Lake George, New York, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a hardware store up here. I just need like a brush, something to knock some of the uh, some of the moss loose. I had one in my hand at Home Depot the other day, and I put it down to do something else, and then I never grabbed it again. So, um, if I can find a little hardware store right now, I'm just gonna grab me a brush, and I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna do the roof, and then we'll uh, just massage our schedule for the rest of the day. So, let's go. All right, this place look familiar. It should. We're just here about two hours ago. All right, so we what we upselled and what we are back to do is all along here is some moss. As you can see, there's some lichen that's growing along there, which after the roof wash to talk about this morning, um, I knew I was going to be coming back. So I uh, waited to do that, and then it was this section here. There's some moss over here that we're going to get, get rid of and take care of. So all that's going to come off, moss here, moss here. Just quick, shouldn't be too long. Um, this should be a good spot for you. <laughs> 